we're being asked to verify this trigonometric identity, so solution. So we'll start by picking a side, either the left-hand side or the right-hand side, and showing it's equal to the other side. Let's think about this. On the left-hand side, we have a fraction. So we somehow have to turn the fraction into subtraction. That sounds tough. On the right-hand side, we have subtraction. So we somehow have to turn the subtraction into a fraction. That sounds tougher. So let's try writing this down and maybe using an identity on sine squared. So sine squared x over cosine x. Well, sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared x. This is over cosine x. Right, the reason I chose this one is because I know an easy identity for sine squared, whereas here we would probably have to multiply by something and it could be messier. So uh, let's see what happens. So this is 1 over cosine, so 1 over cosine minus cosine squared over cosine. So cosine squared x over cosine x. This is equal to 1 over cosine, that's the secant function, minus, and then cosine squared over cosine, that's just cosine. And that worked out really well.